And since we just covered custom hooks, why don't we put our knowledge to a good use? So notice in the user container, we are getting use context and we're getting that navbar context. And essentially in any component all throughout your application, I mean, in this case, of course, it needs to be nested inside of the navbar, but in the following videos, I'll show you how we can set up a global context. Hopefully that is clear pretty much anywhere where I want to use that. Yes, I'll have to grab these two things. I'll have to grab the use context as well as the navbar context. Now, this is a good use case for a custom hook. So instead of these two imports, I can set up one custom hook and then just import that. So back in the navbar, I first want to come up with a name. In my case, I'm going to call this use app context, but sky's the limit. So let me add here custom hook. And then effectively, we want to export that because same deal, we will use it. So const and then call it use. So notice we're still using the use. So that doesn't change. Otherwise, the stuff is not going to work. Use app context. That's my function. And what do I want to do from this function? I simply want to return use context, which I'm importing over here, and the navbar context. So effectively, this line over here. So first, let me navigate back. I'll remove both of them from this user container, just so you can see that I'm not messing with you. Let me go to a navbar. Copy and paste. We don't, of course, need a navbar context, but we will need this use context in the navbar one. And as far as the logic, we just want to invoke this use context once, and we want to provide the navbar context. So I'm going to go with use context, and then I'll provide navbar context. So now I want to save, and again, keep in mind we're exporting this. So now in the user container, I can replace this use context with use and then app context. Now, please keep in mind that there's also one in the final. So don't grab that one. Just set up this one over here. Let's save it. And then notice how our functionality still works. And if you're looking at it and you're like, well, this just saved us one line of code. Keep in mind when you use context globally, again, something that we're gonna cover in the next video, you'll be accessing that context quite a few times. And then it's much easier to just use one hook instead of importing the use context as well as that particular context each and every time you want to access it in the component.